following images were computed by a program which moves a polygonal interface in a diffusion field. By making the assumption that the wolf shape is a polygon, we can simplify the problem of directly moving the interface. At every time step, each edge moves according to the displayed formula. We first show three examples in which the wolf shape is a truncated square and the undercooling is varied. Color variation indicates the temperature variation. Red is warm and blue is cold. Note the parabolic tips and dense side branching. In the next example, the wolf shape is still a truncated square, but the undercooling has been reduced. Note that side branch growth is much less dense. At even smaller undercooling, the surface energy is able to pull the dendrites and side branches into visibly crystalline shapes. The next three examples make use of a wolf shape that is a regular hexagon. Again, we start with heavy undercooling and move to less heavily undercooled. In all the examples shown, the temperature field is computed on an underlying grid of size 200 by 200. Again, it can be seen that when the undercooling is reduced, the density of the crystal growth is reduced and the shape of the dendrites and side branches becomes more noticeably crystalline. By using a wolf shape with many sides, we can approximate a smooth energy functional. In the next example, the wolf shape is a regular 16 gon. Note the dense branching growth. In this final example of single crystal growth, the wolf shape is a regular 32 gon, and so the energy is very nearly isotropic. As a demonstration of the flexibility of the approach, we display a simulation of Ostwald ripening. 1,800 octagonal seeds of random sizes and locations are placed in a near equilibrium state
Material then diffuses from small crystals, which are forced to shrink by surface tension, to larger ones, which are able to grow. Note that the crystals are able to deform, growing more quickly into areas of high concentration and away from areas of low concentration. Note that the time scale is not constant, since change progresses more slowly as time increases. The underlying concentration grid used in this example is 600 by 400.